Ready for the, the 180 power slide, 3000? Go for it. All right. What's up guys? Welcome back to Death by Battery. What? <laughs> that was a good one. Like that? That was a good one. Alright, so sorry guys, we haven't been around for a while. Um, I just recently had a kid, so my, my arms are tied. I have a lovely little daughter that she's three months old now. Cole, he's been in the process of moving houses, so he's been living with his family. Um, so we haven't had a lot of time. But we're back. So we're gonna start giving you some more content again. We apologize for that. But let's get to what this video is about. This guy. So hey Cole, did we find a name for this thing yet? No, no we didn't. So we're gonna leave that up to you guys, okay? So best comment wins. What do we name this? Now I don't care what it is, let's kind of keep it clean. But other than that, comment what you think the name of this cart should be. So it's electric, 100%, just to give you an idea. Um, it is kind of like a junkyard build. We did build this out of a ATV that we found scrapped out. So we piecemealed this thing together. So that's kind of the history behind it. We're going to talk about it a little bit more later, but that's essentially what this cart is. Run with it, have fun with it. Just comment, whatever you want it to be. All right. So I want to give you a little rundown on what, how this cart came together. Some of our ideas that went into this. This is a budget build, so we have spent very little money on this just to have fun. We just want to have fun without tearing up our nice rides like this. So this started off with an ATV. We chopped the front off and the back off, so we have the axle, the brakes, and the front steering. And then we built a chassis around it. It's very simple. We got a race uh, seat for a car put in it, steering wheel, and then so. This motor came out of a pallet jack that was capable of moving 7,000 pounds. It's a 24 volt DC motor. Got the motor controller down in there and then four six volt batteries, so 24 volts. So this thing should rip. Um, we've already test row it and you see that in the beginning of the video, but we found that, what was it Cole? It was fast, it was, but- It was fast, but it took forever to get there. Yeah. And that's kind of why we got this now. Um, yes. Basically think about if you were to take an, a manual car, an automatic car, and you chose third gear to start out from zero miles an hour with, and then to progressively gain speed that way, it just kept building and building and building speed, and we ran out of the road to see how fast we can actually go. So gear it down, more torque, we should be able to utilize this in a mechanical advantage, so to speak, yeah. and it should rip quick. I yeah. mean, it, if, if We'll show you here, we'll show, we'll plug in a clip how fast these tires spin with this gearing that we have right now when the jack is up in the air. All right, so I just turned it up to 100. Okay, hang on, let me get back. Oh, oh okay, whoa, 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 oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's a little frightening. Stuff starts shaking. We need to probably balance a little bit, but. <laughs> budget it, build. It's, it is a budget build, but you don't notice it when you're driving, so that's good. Yeah. But we want this thing to just snap necks. We want snap necks and we want fry tires. That's the whole point of this thing. 100%. We want it to scare the crap out of us. Right, right. <laughs> so we have a couple of things we're gonna to do today. We are gonna fit this. We're gonna show you guys, we're gonna drive it. And then we're going to adjust our- um, Caster. Cap caster, yeah. Yep. So this our caster, it is, like, it is like you have to be a gorilla to steer this thing. It is heavy, okay? So it is heavy. If you look at this, these batteries are what, 50 pounds a piece? 80. 80 pounds a piece, and we have yeah. four of them. Yeah. Plus the motor, plus our bad asses. <laughs> so, so you're looking at quite a quite a bit of weight here. Yeah. Um, but anyway, to sit there and have all this weight up front and be able to turn these tires when you're not moving, it's a little difficult. When you're moving, of course, it's fine. But it wants to steer straight though. Like It does. When it's, like, it's, it's like a dragster. It's an arrow. Yeah. yeah. If you wanted to go straight runs, I wouldn't change a thing. <laughs> but we're wanting to drift this, okay? So we're talking about, there's a lot of guys out there, you've probably already seen them do it. They take and they put PVC, ABS, whatever type of tubing plastic around the tire and they inflate it so that now the tire has minimal to no traction. Sometimes they'll leave a little bit of a sliver of it and a little bit of sliver of rubber so they do have some traction. Yeah. That's what we're gonna go with. We really wanna drift this. If you look at this steering angle, 
That's a drifting steering <laughs> angle if you've ever asked Look me. Look far, how far I had to turn it just for full yeah. turn. <laughs> Look at this. It's just about what? Almost 90 degrees? Oh, not even that? Not even that. So, yeah. But it's tough steering, and that's to, due to the caster. We found out real quick that the caster was extreme when I decided to back this thing up. <laughs> yeah. The steering just automatically wanted to turn. I I Every single time. It was I so think hard. We, I think we got it on film. So we'll if we have it on film, we'll plug it right here. <laughs> but he left like rubber marks all over his driveway because he yeah. was trying to back it out. And the dang thing was throwing him left, right, left, right. And he couldn't freaking get a hold of it. So That was awesome. It, it was pretty funny. <laughs> Oh, you, that steering. you scuffed my concrete. <laughs> the steering is ridiculous. Oh. oh, straighten her out. What are you doing? I'm trying to go over here. I don't know. Where you're you're going to get high centered. But so essentially, that's where we're at. Is kind of where it came from. Uh, it is a budget build, so it doesn't look refined. It, it's functional. This is to test a theory that we had to take a pallet jack. Uh, forklift electric motor with the, with the batteries. Now these aren't the lithium. Uh, they're not lipo lithium polymer. They're not they're not the yeah. batteries. These they, are they cost this. Yeah, that's <laughs> the money. so that's a budget build. So if we can do something pretty crazy with this without those batteries, we're probably gonna go buy batteries. Oh I mean, yeah. To be honest with you, like eventually we'll get lithium. Yeah, eventually. If, if this if this can test out and prove that it's nasty, our theory's right. Where this is gonna be crazy fun. Yeah, we're gonna upgrade batteries because you pretty much will double your power. Oh, yeah, it's all in the battery, right? So and then since this is a budget build We have a DC motor, but but Got an AC motor sitting here. That's a direct bolt-in So we're just waiting to get our hands on a controller that is functioning and That will wire into this system without issue. I just need to get a Curtis controller is what I need uh, That's AC very simple. They're plug-and-play basically But some co cool little features real quick you have an e-brake for the rear tires, okay? It's a little bit hard to pull right now. We're gonna modify that to make it a little bit easier, but it will lock the tires up hard. Now, something kind of interesting, okay? <laughs> so this is your gas pedal and your reverse. Are we turned off? Yeah, just it's to, turned off. Just to make sure, because <laughs> that's with the electric, right? Yep. So heel lock into here, forward with a toe, and that's going to be your throttle going forward. Back to neutral, and then if you push with your heel down, that is reverse. So you, you, there's no gear switch, there's no buttons. It's just your foot manipulation. We haven't finished this yet, but this is really cool. This is your front brakes. So what our theory is with this is we could do line lock, so to speak, to lock up the front tires and burn the rear tires. Yep. Or lock up the front tires, build up a little bit, and then let it let it launch. Um, just to have more options of what we can do. And you could use them, obviously, simultaneously, too. So you could have all four tires being bro braked at the same time. And you can use the, the uh, electric motor to stop yeah, it, too. Yeah, so this is also the electric brake essentially right here well actually the uh, reverse polarity of the motor so when you oh put, no i see what you're saying yeah yes, yeah yes, yes. Yep. yeah so we have we have three sets of brakes on this thing well, actually it's four true. count the parking brake true, true. <laughs> that is true yeah it's, it's a little ridiculous we got a kill switch over here just in case things get a little bit hairy we'll just kill we can kill that all the power is gone on it but yeah other than that it's pretty much straightforward i mean hell we have plywood in the bottom for a for a floor yeah a little <laughs> bit of paint They'll never know. They'll never, How would they know? Who's going to know? How would they know? <laughs> They'll never know. But, uh, well, thanks guys for watching. Sorry we've been away for so long. But please tell us what you think about this build. Tell us a name for it. We want some spicy name for it. That'd be just something out there. I mean, it's electric go -karting. Funny. I don't care. It could be funny. I don't that too. Like, if it's a joke, yeah. let's, let's do it. Yeah, why not? Whatever it is, comment down below. We will use it. We're going to pick one of them. It isn't going to be our name. It's going to be your guys' name. Hey, so. and the best name, so, you know, people go in there and like your comment on there. The best name, get a free t-shirt. Yeah. So, these are our sweatshirts, but it's the same thing. So, front, back. So, you'll yep. be able to get free shirt just for a little bit of incentive. Yeah. Help us out. We want to, we want to create content for you guys. We want to include you guys. This is for you guys. Yes, we get to have fun, but yeah. this is this is what we're doing at all. This is what it's all about. Oh yeah. Cool. Well thanks guys. Check us out next time. Catch you later.